Hello, I'm very happy to be filming today because I wanted to show you a couple of my favourite secondhand items from my wardrobe. Um, some of them you might have already seen in, you know, the previous videos I did on my wardrobe essentials for summer and autumn. But I'm going to show these to you again. And there are many other new things that you have not seen yet. So let's begin. First of all, I wanted to show you that top. It's a sleeveless top, uh, which has a pleated and ruched fabric. And it's quite sheer. So obviously I'm wearing a black bra underneath and I should have worn probably a nude bra or if you don't care about sheerness, you can wear whatever you want to wear underneath that top. It's quite nice. I got it on Vinted and it's from the brand um, Stradi, Stradivarius, Stradivarius. I got it after summer, so I, I've not had the possibility to wear that yet. Obviously, the weather has been poor and terrible ever since the end of summer that's why I'm not worn that out yet but I'm very eager to wear this in the warm days and coming back and for the bottom um, there's this long legged pair of jeans I'd say it's not they're not necessarily jeans per se because they are stretchier than normal jeans. They are grey. They are high waisted. And at the bottom, it's like, you know, the 70s shape of uh, jeans. They are bell bottoms, I'd say. I, don't, I can't remember how they're called. But these are my favourite kind of, kinds of pants. I love white leg pants, especially those who go wide at the bottom I feel like they are more flattering on my silhouette oh yeah and the pants were from Vinted and they were pull and bear for this item I'm not wearing the proper thing underneath and I should buy a black bra or you know a spaghetti top to wear underneath but I still want to show you that piece because I love it. It's a very sheer top. As you can see, let me show you the print all over it. And I got this in a thrift store for a couple of euros. So it's not, it was not that expensive. Yeah, it's a very nice fabric. It's quite cool. I love the details all over it. It's not uncomfortable to wear, it's not uh, itchy or anything. Now let's move on to this smart looking shirt. As you can see, it's uh, kind of ruched in the middle, which I like. I love that detail. And I think that if it didn't have that specific um, detail like the decollete I would not have bought it it's a baby pink color and I if I remember well I got that shirt in a thrift store again for four five euros or something it's really comfy and on the days when where I want to wear a pop of color I grab that shirt and I pair it with these pants or other white leg pants to give myself a disco vintage look appearance and obviously I feel that it's worth mentioning the three tube tops that I already showed you in my autumn wardrobe essentials video these tube tops were from the same seller on vintage that's why I ordered the bundle of three tops but but the colour is different. I could only find in my cupboard this one. 
but if you've seen the other video in which they are tried on I also have the black one and the red one I love those they are so comfy to wear so simple yet so efficient and they were not expensive at all recently I've been addicted to fur I mean faux fur and faux feathers that's why two or three weeks ago I did some research on vintage and I got lucky because one seller had three knit tops that were pretty cool I might say for the colder days of winter I wanted knitwear that would be spicy you know that would not be too basic because I'm a basic girl however I love the small interesting details detail or details on an outfit let me show you the complete outfit here you go it's quite short but that's fine because I love high-waisted pants so it's easily complemented with the pants I'm wearing it's very comfy and you can take the author off if you only want to keep the cardigan but that's my thing yeah I love it I already wore it once last week it makes me feel very expensive oh and while I am at it I wanted to show you those pants that I also got on vintage but they were the famous Burj Kerr suit pants I love them I have been wearing them very often ever since I got them in my hands the only thing is that they are not you know the belt thing is to cinch your waist cinch your waist up if you want to I love them anyway and I wish I had them in black from time to time I go and vintage and I try to look for the same pants in a black colour but I can't find them because they are bought very quickly and very easily when someone posts them another cool looking knitwear that comes from the bundle I talked to you about is this one it's thinner than the previous white knit and it's this one is from Beauty Women. I have never heard of that brand before. And what I love about it is the faux feather decolleté at the top. But I must say, I'm quite scared to wash it for the first time. I wonder whether or not these this feathers are gonna be ripped off. I might have to wash it with my hands which would be fastidious to do. Now I can tell you that the previous knitwear that I showed you with the that white vulva was from Vinted. Oh, it was from Bershka, apparently. The only thing is that the sleeves are quite long and it does not look cool worn like that. And when I pull, pull them like this they look quite weird but also the bottom is quite long not sure not sure how to feel about this it does look good i can't tell because i'm not wearing my glasses neither my contact lenses so i can't see shit in the screen please tell me whether or not that looks good. What I might do is wear it tucked in a skirt or pants. Again, something from Bershka that I got on Vinted. Bershka was very useful to me in the past year, a couple of years for my 
secondhand finds. Once again, this is a knit with a cool detail on it. As you can see, it's divided between black and white and it's so cool. Yeah, I don't know how to explain and share my love for that top. I mean, all of the knits that I showed you in the video are not that warm for winter. I usually wear a thick coat above them to balance with the thin material of these because they are knits, they're not the knits you should be expected to wear in winter. But I'm not into the thick knit wear. That's quite stupid, I agree. I'm not keen on how they look on me. While I'm at it, I want to mention those pants that I think I showed you in the autumn video as well. These were from Froggy, apparently, and you can find good Froggy pieces on Vinted. I have worn them many times and it's starting to show off because it's destroyed in many places. In the crouch, there's a hole right there. I'm not going to explain to you again why I love these smock pants and grandpa pants that are white legged because you have already listened to me rambling a lot about my obsession for this style of pants. I'm very happy and excited to show you that piece. This was one of the three knits I got from the bundle I mentioned before in the video with the other two faux, faux fur and faux feathers tops. This is bright red with a faux fur detail around the décolleté. It's very nice and it's once again not a very thick knit and for the sake of that video I decided to pair them with that skirt that I also got on Vinted and this was from I forgot to check the tag for the top and for the skirt I'm sorry let's do that quickly oh so that skirt is a mini skirt from Zara that obviously I got on Vinted. I must be honest with you, in the past couple of years I've not been that obsessed with mini skirts and I've had a tendency to go for wool over skirts, silky skirts or jean skirts. However, I feel like I so trend of knit skirts somewhere on Instagram or TikTok or I can't remember and I've told myself that these were cool and I might try to look for a longer knit skirt on Vinted. This one is black so hopefully it would, could be paired with many different, many different tops and it's not that short I mean, it's still a bit frightening to wear it. It's very thick, so for winter it's very convenient. And just for that video, I have decided to wear thin sheer tights underneath them with the silvery, glittery dots all over, all over the... I bought them in a fast fashion store but to my defense it's very difficult to find tights on vintage that can suit you and I find it, that task quite tedious and scary obviously depending on the season of the year you can wear your tights with that skirt or thicker tights yeah whatever you want to wear now I wanted to do an honourable mention for that tube dress, long tube dress I showed you in my summer wardrobe essentials 
I mean, now you know my passion for tube tops, tube dresses. And this one is unique in its own way. Got that on Vinted. It was from Zara originally. It's quite incon inconvenient because when you walk around, the bottom tends to be pulled up. So you always, you always have to be cautious about not flashing everyone around you. I'm very happy about that fine. Uh, this is an oversized blazer. Do you, can you even, even see my hat? This is a, an oversized blazer that I found in my father's village. You know, there were people selling what they didn't need anymore in the streets. One very nice lady had that blazer on her stand, on her hanging thing. And I thought that blazer was very cool because I've been looking for an oversized blazer to wear above a complete outfit or just to wear it as um, a dress with a belt around the waist. And I'll show you how that looks right after that clip. There are pads at the shoulders that can make you very small and very bougie. Actually, there's a label right there. Is there a brand? No, there's not a brand on it. It was a bargain because the lady only asked me to give her three euros, so a good point. This is what the blazer looks like worn as a dress. It's not too short and it still looks fancy and classy and bougie. I'm wearing it with a second-hand belt as well. But, oh! What have I done with the belt? Oh, it's upside down. Okay. It's better that way. This is a belt that I borrowed from my mom and I have never given it back to her. I didn't have any use of it. So, yeah. I believe that the belt was from Pinky and she got it a while ago, like when she was younger, very young. Let's finish that video with a pair of shoes that I got on Vinted. And they are that pair of trainers that are in a very bad condition because I wear it on a very recurrent basis. They're very comfy. These are the Adidas Falcone Falcon Falcone trainers. Quick story short, when they came out they were promoted by Kylie Jenner. I thought that they looked cool. So I think that it was five years ago, not sure. I bought these shoes in the pink and black color and I wore them a lot. So I wanted to grab them in another color. But that time I bought them second-handed I went on Vinted and you can find many, many different brands of shoes on Vinted. These were originally white and I believe that everyone should have a pair of white trainers or white shoes in their white robe along with a pair of black shoes. They can be paired with many things. These are quite sad looking. They are dirty, they are starting to be destroyed under here, but I love them. And I love that 
ooh, shape of trainers. I will try to look for similar looking shoes in the future when these are dead. Most of the things I buy now and I that I've been buying in the past years come from Vinted. However, whenever I go to a thrift store or a yeah a charity kind of store with uh, pieces of clothing, I love looking around and picking things up that I know I'm gonna wear and that I love. Please try to be cautious with your consumption and try to make some efforts if you want to or if you can. I'm gonna finish that video in that position. I'm sorry. The only thing is that if you are if you are plus size, it's quite hard to find clothing for you on vintage or in thrift stores, in charity stores. I totally understand that it's easier for some of you and some people to go to fashion stores, to fast fashion stores or fast fashion websites and find their sizes. I wish you a great end of the day and I'll see you in a future video. Goodbye.